Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my Hovenichi weeks for the month of May. I'm using our Kaleidoscope collection. So this comes with four different weekly layouts and a May monthly kit. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting down the May kit first. I thought that this month I would actually sit and chat with you guys while I'm planning. The last couple of months I've actually put music over it, which I think you guys have been enjoying but it's been a while since I've actually chatted with you and with all the stuff going on I thought that this would be a nice time to do that especially using this collection because it is my absolute favorite I am in love with every single one of the kits so I thought it would be fun to chat with you how we come up with the themes for the month so Brian and I actually sit down and chat with what we would like now May is one of my favorite Favorites. There's Mother's Day, planting flowers. Um, so we really wanted to do something with flowers, but do it a little bit differently since there are a lot of flower kits out there. Of course, we put a little Boulder Bond spin on our kits, if you guys cannot tell. <laughs> and then we sketch out a bunch of ideas to get an overall feel of how we want our kits to look like. I usually start by making the Erin Condren kit first and then branch out into the Hobonichi Weeks and the Cousin. So I just finished off putting down all of my monthly stickers. Now moving on to our first weekly kit. This one is the Kaleidoscope kit. So it's our main kit for the collection. Now the Erin Condren kit is actually called the Kaleidoscope of Life. So one small shift in perspective can change everything. I mean, I feel like that is what life is right now, especially with what everything is going on in the world. One small shift and really everything has changed. And it's so hard to see all of the beauty in this shift in life but there still is there's still so much goodness and kindness out there I've been seeing it on your guys's Instagram people reaching out to friends neighbors family loved ones people that they haven't spoken to in many years even though this time can be stressful and overwhelming at times just know that there is still so much goodness out there and we can all get through this together so I'm finishing up with my kaleidoscope kick for the week. I am so in love with this. It literally makes me smile. So there's little things in life like this that can help get you through the day and it definitely does for me. I just love coming to my planner and planning, crafting, putting down stickers definitely makes me super happy. So moving on to our next week, this is the rose kit. I thought that this would be perfect for Mother's Day. Mother's Day and roses just make me smile. Unfortunately, I lost my mom a couple of years ago, but I do still celebrate the day because of course she's still my mother and I love her. So I definitely cherish Mother's Day. So I'm putting down all of the little checklists, guys. Aren't they so cute? The cute little rose checklist. And then I'm just putting down all of the boxes on the right hand side. To be honest, that is probably my favorite way to put down all the boxes. I like to highlight like something special that happened throughout the day. And then I'm putting down all of the right dividers. Now this is actually the first time I haven't used like three dividers to split up the day. I decided to put the um, third one down all at the bottom just to have kind of like extra top border and bottom border at the bottom. I just thought that that looked really cute. And then I'm just finishing off with all of the extra little bits the little to buy sticker and roses of course one for mother's day so that is the rose kit now moving on to the stained glass kit okay so the stained glass is actually a very large sticker sheet i actually line it up against the line on the right side of the page and it goes down super smooth when you do it that way now uh, guys i don't know if i'm actually going to write on it I did make it so that it was more translucent so that you can write on it and put little stickers on there and I was going to show you how I would put all the stickers down and plan on the um, stained glass but to be honest I just don't know if I can do it it's just so pretty so when we get to this week I will let you know if I end up 
braving it and riding on it or just leaving it and making it look like a beautiful little kit with the stained glass on it. We will see. So I'm just finishing off by putting a little divider. I just thought that that looked super cute alongside the stained glass window there. So that was a super quick little spread there. Now moving on to the last week. This one is the sunflower kit. I really don't know which one is my favorite out of all of these kits. They are so super gorgeous. Sunflowers are my favorite flower, but guys, it's so hard to decide. Do you guys have a favorite with the sunflower kit, kaleidoscope, the stained glass, or the tulips? Definitely let me know down below. And also, let me know what you guys are doing in your planners. Has anything changed for you? I know it has for a lot of you guys. So are you still working, not going to work, going to school online? Definitely let me know what you guys are planning, if you have had significant changes, and what you're doing in your planner to um, make those changes work. I know that um, during these tough times, it is really easy easy to give up planning. I know I've done it several times whenever things like this, well, nothing's ever come up this crazy in my life, but you know what I mean. Um, we all take little breaks in our planner, but it is so helpful to come back and write everything down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the weekly and monthly setup. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.